Pandemic viruses respect no borders. A simple could be the start of the next global influenza pandemic. We all have a role to play in preparing for the next pandemic so that all countries can protect their people. As part of this effort, WHO coordinates a network of specialized public health laboratories that work together to study influenza viruses, assess their threat level, and develop critical materials and information. Industry uses these to make life-saving vaccines, antivirals, and other products needed during a pandemic. Under WHO's Pandemic Influenza Preparedness Framework, or PIP framework, manufacturers that receive these materials must share some of the products they make with WHO, so that when the next pandemic strikes, WHO can supply them to countries that would not otherwise get them. The Standard Material Transfer Agreement 2, or SMTA 2, is a contract WHO signs with each manufacturer to memorialize its commitments, ensuring WHO has ready and predictable access to specific life-saving products when the next pandemic starts. WHO works closely with each manufacturer to reach a fair and reasonable agreement, whether it's donating a percentage of vaccine, reserving antivirals and diagnostic kits at affordable pricing, or licensing technology to those who need it. Through negotiations, WHO will work with each manufacturer to ensure they understand everything required of them, including regulatory matters, pre-qualification, and labeling and packaging. This way, when the next pandemic starts, WHO will quickly connect with its manufacturing partners, who will already know exactly what WHO expects. The result? Quicker global response times, equity of access to life-saving vaccines, and, most importantly, greater solidarity among nations. After all, in a public health emergency like pandemic influenza, we're all in this together. For more information, visit who.int slash influenza slash PIP.